little bit chilly this Friday morning. But it's Friday, so I don't care. It's only minus 18. Calm down, Josh. Minus 18. We just had minus 30 for two weeks, okay? Minus 18. It's a summer day out there. It's gonna get warm this weekend. Here's this guy with the pink rims again. Pink rims. You do you, bud. Pink rims. Go for it. Wouldn't find pink rims on my truck, but you never know. You never know. I don't know. All right, let's get our Timmy's. Let's get to work. Let's drive some trucks today. What's with all the lifted trucks at Timmy's today? Jeez, this is the, the meeting of the lifted trucks. It's time for freshly cracked Canadian eggs. That's what that sign says. I, I think it's just time for coffee myself. But... Freshly cracked Canadian eggs. You know, Tim Hortons has uh, recently uh, changed the way they make their eggs. They're way better now, which is weird, right? Usually things get worse. Hello. Could I have a medium coffee with one cream and a shot of espresso in it, please? For sure. Anything else? That's it. All right, 276. Super duper. See, sometimes I say it, sometimes I don't. I like to keep them on their toes. Keep them guessing. Is it him? Is it him? It's him! <laughs> or maybe they're rolling their eyes. Oh, here's this guy again. <laughs> they don't know what to do with me. They just don't say anything. <laughs> just give him his coffee and get him out of here. Weirdo. <laughs> John Debit. Thank you. Such nice, friendly faces in the morning. Well, actually, they're wearing masks, so you can't see. So, such nice, friendly eyes. That's all you can see. Looks like they're smiling. They could be faking it, but I don't think so. It's pretty hard to fake a real smile. Just saying. All right. Oh, you show them, Mr. Jeep. You show them. You spin those tires. Those expensive tires. I don't do much spinning anymore. My tires are expensive. I just slowly roll along like an old man now. I like the sound of a nice, just, you know, a nice little V8, just softly humming down the road. Doesn't have to be screaming. Just, you know, just let people know you got a V8. That's why I want to get an exhaust on my truck. I'm hoping to be able to do that this summer, but, you know, I'm hoping to do a lot of things this summer. It is on the list, though. There's a little exhaust in the back. Doesn't have to be, like, from the head or the back, but you know, just something to, you know, let everybody know, hey, hey, listen to what I got. You know? Not obnoxious, just enough. Just enough of a little bit of a rumble. I can't stand those obnoxious motors, especially in the morning when you when you start them up and they're cold. It's really obnoxious for the neighbors. But just enough to let them know, oh yeah, oh yeah, Josh is on his way to work. Cool, good guy, good guy, I like him, you know? It's gonna be a good day. I've been forgetting to say that the last couple of days. And they were all right, the days were all right, but. If I remember to say it's going to be a good day, I put it in my head that it's going to be a good day. Much more likely to happen. It doesn't mean it's going to be a good day, but I'm going to try and make it one. We're on our way into Winnipeg. We're going to fill our trailer up with stuff. Take it to those who need it. What would they do without truckers? Everyone would have to go and get their own stuff. What a world. That'd be terrible. I personally really like it, how I can order stuff and just have it delivered to my door. I don't actually do door delivery, not me. I, I, I have to go, because I still got a big trailer, but. I'd hate to have to go get all my own stuff, so. Just doing my part, keeping the engine turning.
tuck myself away right between these guys here. Take a little bit of a coffee break. My trailer's over half full already. And we're just waiting around for a little bit more stuff to throw in there. But until then, I've been ordered to sit tight. Okay, let's close the window. One second. Wait for it. And there it is. Break time. It's break time until it's no longer break time. I don't have any scheduled breaks or anything like that. I just take breaks whenever I can get them. That's pretty much how she goes here. And uh, that's how I work anyways. I've never really stopped for lunches or breaks anywhere, ever. Doing any job. I have my lunch here. Whenever I have a couple of spare minutes, eat some food. When I'm told to sit tight for a little while like this because we're waiting for some more freight to throw on my trailer, well, hey, what do you know? Unscheduled break. So now I just sit here and wait for this thing to chirp at me and say, hey, get to work. And then I get to work. It's that simple. We got freight. Well, we've got orders. We've got orders to get rid of the freight that's in my trailer first. So this trailer is now pushing me south of Winnipeg. There's people that need the stuff that's in there. Essential, essential stuff. Right, so it's about a half hour drive. I'm in Oak Bluff right now at that Esso that you saw with the Tim Hortons. I should have grabbed myself a Timmy's. But as we're going south of the city on 75, we're going to be passing by Saint Gap, which has uh, the Flying J. Maybe we'll stop and get a bean to cup coffee, huh? Snow 
glow in the ditch. Okay. Hey, whatever. Whatever makes you happy. <laughs> he got himself stuck. Ah. <laughs> oh, boy. That's what happens when you still blow the ditch. Oh, wait. No, he's moving. He's moving. He's moving. Yeah, he's stuck. He can only move a couple of feet. Why are you still blowing the ditch, bud? Oh, he'll be good. He'll wiggle himself out of there. No problem. <laughs> I don't get it, but hey, you tell me to snow blow the ditch, I'm your man too. Give me a tractor. I'll snow blow the ditch. I'm sure there's a reason. I'm sure there's a reason. It's still funny. It's still funny. I was kind of thinking on the way past before, he's probably going to get himself stuck. What do you know, on the way back, he's stuck. Oh, yes. Bean the cup. Here we come. Bean a two cup. I'm even going to nose in. I'm that excited. Watch. Watch. Here we go. Straight at this pole. How about that? Wonderful. Let's not hit the pole. Uh, okay, there we go. Bean to go. Here I come. truck that was pulling that bus out the other day wasn't it got himself a cement mixer today so it looks like we're heading out uh, came back into the city put a few things in the trailer I'm headed out and uh, I mean at this rate unless they have something more for me to pick up in the rural parts it looks like I'm gonna be done a little earlier than usual today not complaining I like to work full days though, but you know, every now and then a little shorter day is all right, is welcome, right? It's just then I get home and I'm like, what do I do with myself? I have all this extra time. I'm not lying, I'm a workaholic. I need a job to do. I need work. I don't do well with just sitting around doing nothing. I mean, that's what the weekend's for, right? We have found ourselves in Transcona, or south of Transcona. Are you coming, bud? Can I get in front of you? No, you're coming? Okay. Which way are you going? There's a truck coming from our left. I don't know what he's doing yet. He's just a putting along. He's got the right of way. No law saying he has to go any faster than that. Alright, bud. I'm going to come in behind you. Three skids on my 28 foot pup trailer. I gotta go pick up another two, just a little ways away in St. Boniface. All right, buddy. All right, we're all getting paid by the hour, but that's no reason to just go putting down the road this slow. Come on, buddy. Come on, you can do it. You can get to that red light faster than that. Come on. <laughs> I just realized I'm trying to hurry him up and we have a red light ahead. That was kind of pointless. Oh, he's got class eight corrosives in his trailer. Good for you, bud. That's maybe why he's driving a little bit more carefully. Aha, uh -huh. see Josh, use your eyeballs. Everything makes sense. Today's gonna be a good day. We got the serious shades on because we're seriously doing some serious trucking today. Some local trucking. I'm gonna fill up my trailer. And it's Friday. Have I said that yet? It's, I said it. I said it already. I said it again. It's Friday. You guys have any big plans for the weekend? Oh, there's a cop. Everybody act natural. <laughs> I gave him a wave. Is that suspicious? That's not suspicious. That's 
friendly. Alright, I'm gonna get past this guy now. Alright, buddy, I'm in more of a hurry than you. I got pallets to pick up, or skids of something. I don't know what it is yet, but all I know is it's on skids. And I have been tasked with their professional moving, the professional transport. That's what I was looking for. I was going to say tra professional moval. Is that a word? Moval? Yeah, I think that's a word. Ah, the cop's coming up beside me. Act natural. They fell. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Winnipeg Police, a culture of safety for all. Thank you for what you do, good sir. I like our cops. Oh, you wanna go? You wanna go, Mr. Soils? No, I'm in a hurry. That's what I thought. Oh, there's another cop behind me. Oh, oh, they're everywhere. Not speeding. Seatbelt. Lights are on. Here he comes. Here he comes. Everybody give him a salute. I gave him a salute. Any, any of you uh, do the same thing? When you see a cop coming up on the road, you check your seatbelt, you check your speed. <laughs> I usually don't. I'm not that nervous. I got nothing to hide. I got nothing to be afraid of. What would you say? Turn left? Well, why am I in the right lane then? Come on, Karen. Speak up. I can barely hear you. She used to be so loud and obnoxious. Now she's so obnoxiously quiet. Use the middle lane to turn left onto Provincial Trunk Highway 59 South Route 115 West. Speak up, Karen. No one can hear you. And then she'll get louder and then we'll say, quiet, Karen. No one cares. Here comes another nice tanker. Go ahead. Nice. Co-op's always got really nice trucks too. I just love trucks. Can I go yet? There's so much traffic. I probably could have gone now. I'm too nice. I am way too nice. I'm trying to get onto the road here and I keep waiting because I don't want to inconvenience other drivers. Come on. Here comes another nice Peterbilt. You ready? You ready? Pulling a reefer. Oh no, he's turning this way. Okay, well then I'm going. Sorry guys, you'll have to just trust me. It's a nice truck. He just gave me my in. Thank you, sir. Okay, we have those last two skids I was supposed to pick up, they combined it into one. So now I have four skids on my trailer. I can fit up to, uh, what did I say, 12? Maybe 14, depending on their size. We got lots of room yet. I gotta head all the way over to the southwest side. I'm on the east side right now. So I gotta go all the way to the other side of the city. If you're familiar with Winnipeg, I'm gonna take Lajamodia here down to Bishop. Take Bishop Grandin around to Keniston. And up that way. You guys wanna get a better look at this peat I was talking about before? Take a look at this beauty. Hey, hey! That's nice. Straight pipes and all. Oh, oh, and a shifter almost touching the top of his cap. Woo. That's a boss rolling down the road there. Stay out of his way. It has come to my attention in my comment sections that you guys don't think Winnipeg is very scenic. So here you go, you can look at me instead. There's some scenery for you. Look at me from this side. Check out this side. Huh? There you go, there's your scenery. <laughs> I agree, Winnipeg is not the most scenic city. It is not like the, uh, it's not the city on a hill in Canada. We're more so the city that everybody forgets about. But now that we have an NHL team, 
now that we got them back. The Jets put us on the map. You hear Winnipeg names all over the place when you're listening to hockey. But as for scenery, we are lacking a bit. But hey, you've got me, right? It's consolation. No, nope. maybe not. Probably not. No, well, I tried. I'm trying to show you guys some interesting things. Uh, we got some more interesting stuff coming down the pipe, though. So stay tuned. There are some uh, new things coming, and uh, I'll be able to share with you guys a lot more I think in the near future so just stay tuned but uh, I, I think it's gonna get better we're gonna get, we're gonna get more into depth with trucking here and also I'll be sharing with you opportunities of how you can come and join us if you want to if you want to come and behold the scenery of Manitoba I mean you're really missing out if you haven't seen Manitoba I mean British Columbia's got nothing on the flatland of Manitoba. I'm 100% not serious. It's a very scenic province. But hey, we got good people, right? That counts for something. And lots of space. Lots of space. Did I say coming down the pipe again before? You guys have already corrected me on that. I'm sorry. The saying is coming down the pike. We've got some new things coming down the pike in the future. That uh, should make things pretty interesting. I'm excited about it. I'm excited about every day though. Look at that. The sun's shining. I'm excited. Not even a cloud in the sky. I'm excited. Weather's warmer. I'm excited. Maybe I have a problem. Maybe I'm just excited too much. Maybe I need to calm down. Not gonna happen. It's Friday. I'm excited. 